announcement and the Lamar Jackson news broke and we chewed on that for quite a while. Yeah. But if you didn't hear yesterday, Jeremy Fowler, who I, I don't question Jeremy. There's a couple guys out there that when I hear their name attached to a story, I say it's legit. Jeremy is that guy. He's always on it. Now, that doesn't mean that he didn't get bad information, but somebody let Jeremy Fowler know that Lamar Jackson, while saying I don't need to have a fully guaranteed contract, this is the first real money demand we've heard him make, other than three for 133 well, wasn't going to do it. That, I, I that, don't don't buy, make, that don't make no sense. I don't buy that <laughs> this is coming from Lamar. I think it's, this is coming from the team. There's no way that's coming from Lamar. No, put the I, quote back up. Yeah. Put the quote back up. Um, the quote was, he, quote, just wants the guaranteed portion of it to be larger than Deshaun Watson. Here's why I buy that. Well, that's what that, that's Jeremy Fowler's quote. Not, yes, it's yeah. Jeremy Fowler's quote, but Jeremy is hearing that from one of two sides. Yeah. And if the Ravens are telling him that, yeah. then that's what the Ravens were told. The Ravens aren't going to give misinformation on a, on a player's contract. They're just not going to do it. Especially a guy they don't want to piss off. Well, and so, have him walk so, away. But hold on, but hold on, Jay. How how was he getting more money guaranteed? Because no, listen, why is all money is guaranteed? So that's the, that's the <laughs> so thing. That's we laughed saying. at that. I, I was like, what does so, that mean? But, I, for the sake of this discussion, yeah. let's not parse out how he got the news. Yeah. yeah. Jeremy is a reputable reporter. Yeah, I, I've uh, known him for years. Yeah, I'm not saying we're not, take I'm not, whether or not whether or not that was the truth. We're gonna take Jeremy Fowler was told I'm by not, one of two yes. camps that that's the deal. I'm I just not don't talk, buy that it came from Lamar's camp. I think I'm not talking about Lamar's Jeremy. camp is Lamar. I'm, yeah. I'm not speaking about Jeremy Fowler. Or, or whoever. No. I'm talking about the words that were on that screen. Well, that's what we I, laughed I, at. Like, how is this money? You want more money? Did you want a fully guarantee? He's deal? looking Did, for no. You know what he's looking for? Seven for three hundred. Yeah. Right. But five and two forty guaranteed. That's not gonna I, I happen. Just, I just, I just find that hard to believe. I. I but for the purpose of this, we do we, too. We yeah. we, we have to we have to ball. agree that it, oh, it, it is really a real thing and that we can comment on it. I think it is a real thing. I don't think this changes let anything about what we already thought. Let, let me tell you something. The football, the NFL has, has shown time and time again, they will cut their nose off to spite their face. Lamar Jackson, let me give you a clue here, bro. You're getting, you're not getting what Deshaun Watson got. He's an isolated incident. They put him on the side by himself. It's not right? an apples to apples I said, situation. You, I said, you're, you're, right. not not get, you're not going to get that. I said, and you're going to get nowhere. I'm going to tell you this. They're going to force you into an agent because I've if, never thought because, more that he needs an agent. I said, right because now. if you don't get an agent, you're going to empower these other people out here to do the same thing and they don't want no part of it. Mm. And so guess what? They will take you down like they took everybody else down has ever jumped outside the pocket. Okay, hold your fire. Uh, we got to do a read quickly. Go ahead, Mike. Yeah, this NFL talk is brought to us by Lincoln Electric. Lincoln Electric now hiring for great jobs. They are experts in the manufacturing and welding facilities. And field, if you need a great job, Lincoln Electric, check them out. Yeah, definitely. Um, so the thing is, to your point, we're taking it at its face value yeah. that somebody told Jeremy Fowler, either with Lamar's camp, who we think is very small, yeah. or with the Ravens camp, that he is it, saying, I don't need it to be fully guaranteed. Yeah. It just has to Listen, be more than what Deshaun Watson The bottom Watson line is, the Lamar Jackson is not getting anywhere close to this. Not even it's close. It's not going to happen. Nope. He, he, in, it, unless... He can do whatever he wants, and he wants to hold out, whatever. If I were him, I probably would have signed that three-year, $150 million, whatever it was. $130 no, no, I would have signed it, that too. That was 133 That would have made a lot. Honestly, to me, that makes a lot of sense. But, because if he would have, first of all, he's getting a ton of money for three years. Right. Ton. And if he balls out, then he will get a, a ridiculous contract now, in three Bowen, years. Uh, G and I yesterday, when we were chewing this over, were yeah. kind of saying, this is interesting that it's come out now. So we, this is what we sort of theorized. I asked G, it only takes one sucker. It's only take one. <laughs> Who's the sucker? Who's the guy in the NFL that would do that? We know who. It's one guy. Yeah, Robert Ralph, Ursay. It, 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 and here's why. He'll do it. Jim Ursay. Jim, Jim Ursay. Ursay. I'm sorry. I think his dad's name was Robert. Jim Ursay. And here's why. <laughs> if there is an owner in the NFL that knows what life in the league is like with the haves and the have-nots at quarterback, mm -hmm. it's Ursay. He won mm -hmm. a Super Bowl with Peyton Manning. Mm -hmm. He had a chance to, it was arcing that way with Andrew Luck. And since then, he's had just a bunch of guys. And you've seen that they've become irrelevant. And he bought yeah. Jeff Saturday and willy-nilly just sure. to try to do like, something. Sure, like let's try anything. This guy yeah. is desperate to be relevant again. And we know that he has the four pick. He's right. not giving that up. Nobody's doing this but before after, the draft. No one will. But yeah. after, after the draft. The draft it could change. Don't be surprised if Jim Ursay 
says, I'll give you five for 240. It only takes one sucker. Hey, any, anything's possible. I, and it might turn, you know, listen, I, if Lamar Jackson stays healthy, I think Lamar Jackson's going to play he, well for he five tell him, he, Think about it. He's like, he going to be in here in this dome, yeah. in warm weather, yep. no, yep. no yep. Fast, weather, fast track. Fast track. Close to Louisville. <laughs> a very winnable division. Very, cl- very winnable. Winnable division. Very, I know Jacksonville's period, on the period. rise, yeah. but very, Tennessee and Houston, very they're, they're down. Very close yeah. to Louisville. It is. Very, very close. Where he played his college close, Very and close to Louisville. I think it, I think Atlanta, I didn't even think of that. I think point. Atlanta would be very smart I, I, to go the, after the, him. Uh, yeah, but I think they're fiscally too responsible to write that check. I, you got to find the sucker. Just like Deshaun Watson found the sucker, yeah. the guy that wrote the deal that everybody said, what? Wait, that, that, that deal didn't happen. Be, be, you Now you've got to find another one, and I think Ursay is the sucker. Be, because here's – and I, I, people say, this don't count, G. Bush. It was a different thing. See, Deshaun Watson got that after you sit down. And it wasn't they rewarded him for sitting out and having bad whatever. He sat out, and what happened was you look at the Browns. And a lot of teams, a lot of teams don't plan on going seven and something, four and something. To some teams, that's unacceptable. That we're not doing that. No go. So when they, when you get to the offseason and Lamar Jackson or Deshaun Watson or anybody is sitting there, you emotional after the season. You start you, adding. You zeros. start looking around. You're like, well, I ain't even got no draft picks like this. Who's on the draft board? There's some, some good quarterbacks. I don't even like that quarterback. Give me Lamar Jackson. Like it starts rolling right. like that. And I think Jim Ursay, when you you cannot underestimate the, the impact of losing a guy who is Andrew Luck and you, and Peyton Manning too. He, I mean, they had well, he got the but generational they were for guy. Peyton Manning to leave. They I'm were, not, but they were blindsided I'm, by I'm Andrew Luck, take, and they still I'm haven't recovered. I'm not taking a three-year, one thirty-three. I'm not. If, if, you, if you Lamar, you ain't no, taking it. No, because here I think he can enlist more, but he got to play the game. Well, the problem with Lamar is Lamar's doing all the talking. That's why Dion was like, "Stop talking!" Yeah. Right, 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 right. Stop talking. Yeah. Stop talking because you know, sometimes you need somebody to do talking for you. You just sit over there, right? Yeah. And let the people do the dirty work for you and set this thing up. Yeah. That, and I, I would tell you this. If he had an agent, it'd be done in 40 days. 30 or 40 days. If he had an agent, he would have signed. It'd been done. I think it probably would have been done. It'd been what done. Lamar needs done. is a voice of reason in the room. Right. That can check the temperature and the market. Now, you made an interesting point yesterday or maybe two days ago when you said, it paid off for Deshaun Watson to sit out, and it did. Remember, the teams that are desperate for quarterbacks mm-hmm. yeah. run out of avenues to get them. Right. If but they're not coming sit. through the draft, and these franchise quarterbacks well, don't year. come available, yeah. it don't but, matter but, why. But, 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 no, I'm saying he but didn't Jay, sit out no, for I know, money. I know. But, but, but Jay, but Jay, right. look, look, look but Jay, the but Jay, who constructed the deal? Yeah, it, it wasn't has, Deshaun has, Watson. No, no, it wasn't. But I think what happened was the market drove the The market came here, but. The mouthpiece had to go put the deal together. Yes. Put the and two, I think Lamar right. would be very I, well advised to hire. I, and I, it's I, okay. You guys are saying, I don't think I, I still don't think anybody's going to give him that contract. Uh, I do. Listen here. I, I'm if afraid he go, that Jim Ursay will. If you, if he go, if he, if he says today silently, I went and got Deshaun Watson's agent. He, his, 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 his price of getting his chances. Then went up to about seventy five percent. That he at least gets over his mo- his mom was doing the the the, the, the pseudo agent role. Right, you can do that. Here, just you do though. You go get the mouthpiece. I don't have to be the one talking, right? Yeah, and he shouldn't ha- he shouldn't have to hear what the other team <laughs> no, is going to say about no. him in negotiations. Forty eight laws of power always tell you always say less than you have to, because sometimes they don't even know where you are on the board. They might be thinking, well, they, they shouldn't even really know how much he that's really why, wanted. That's why Dion told him, stop talking. Just, just, yeah. just, just always back. listen to Dion. Just, just stop talking. Well, right. Dion, hey, he worked that nice deal. Dion, Dion, <laughs> you, uh, Dion is, watch this. He's the only coach I know that didn't have any college coaching pedigree. He went to high school, coached his sons, mm-hmm. then went to HBCU, used all his leverage and his connections mm-hmm. to make that jump. And then he said, I'm going D1. People said, Dion, you got to stay at Jackson State, three, four, four more. He said, yeah. oh, no, 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 no. I'm and go by the here. way, if he turns Colorado into a winner, oh, he's, then he's going wherever he's he, Well, he'll pick a that. power five elite. Yeah. elite uh, Notre elite. Dame. Florida State. Uh, Florida State. And what, some of those fringe Ohio powers that have State? fallen off. No, no. never coach at Ohio State. That, no, Why? That, that, because the that, next coach at Ohio here, State will here, be a guy. Hold on. Because Ryan here, Day was let not. Me, let me jump in in here. That cult. Let me tell you something. You're right. No, it is. That's not cult. Hold on. That stick will never play in Columbus. No. 
never. Well, it won't, but uh, never. Not, even, not even for that. Hey, look, look. He, no, he just, that he, stick, he's not uh, a Buckeye. No, it's, that's that not, stick will never no, play they will, down they will there. Just I want to do this, guys. Ain't I want to do this. Ain't happening. Uh, Aditi is really leading the, the, the charge on this. This, is, this thing has been so popcorn worthy. It's just been fascinating to sit back and watch as they lobby back and forth and, and some of it in social media and watching John Harbaugh sort of dodge the question yeah, so. as He's he was been He's been great. I love yeah. Lamar. But it's been high drama, <laughs> and it got us to thinking. This has been one of the more bizarre contracts and contract negotiations that we've ever seen. What's the strangest contract or contract negotiation that you guys can remember in sports history? I, I have one that I, it blows my mind to this day. Um, so mine was, and this is Cleveland Brown. Um, the Terrell Pryor contract. So Terrell Pryor, he, co- he, he, he comes in, he's a quarterback. Hugh Jackson says, we're going to play you at receiver. Never played receiver before. Had a decent year. Had a thousand yards. Yeah. They was giving him the ball and Wildcat had a really nice year. And so Terrell Pryor is like, they offered him a contract for like 32 million. Terrell Pryor was like, no, I'm turning that down. I, I, want, I want a shorter deal and I want more money. And they were like, I think he ended up signing for, to the, uh, Washington. the Washington uh, Commanders or the Redskins at the time for like 12, 14 million, and they was offering him 32. They offered it, took it off the table, said, like, "Nah, get up out of here." Never really, never really panned out the rest of the time. But I just always, I always look. Do at you guys have like, a weird one? What do you mean by weird exactly? Well, I'm talking more not negotiations. I mean, but you, if you have one that Bizarre like our contracts contract, like the Bobby, Bobby Bonilla, Bonilla contract, yeah, the Bobby Bonilla yeah. contract to me oh, yeah, we got was and probably always will be the, I the was strangest just deal ever that Ken Griffin uh, Jr. Ken is Griffin still getting money. He's going to be the fourth highest player. He's on the, still, he's the still, still getting yes. like four million a year. He's still so, getting paid. But the Bobby Bonilla thing kind of started a trend, but I thought yeah. it was going to be the norm and it didn't No, guys want their money. But what Bobby Bonilla did was that one of the smartest things that I've ever heard an athlete do. He signed at the time. This was the richest deal in pro sports. I think it was five years, 29 million. And think about that. How absurd that is. Yeah. That at the time that was the biggest deal. This was in the nineties. Biggest yeah. deal in pro team sport, team pro sports. He played three years for the Mets. In 2000, they were having a fire sale. They shipped them off to. No, not 2000. Uh, no, not 2000. 90. Before 97, because yeah. he won the World Series with the Marlins in 97. Yeah, right, right. In 2000, he came. 2000 was the last time he played for the Mets. Okay. Yeah, that was the Subway Series. They owed him five million dollars on his contract. Yeah. And the Mets offered, "Can we defer that? Where you'll be paid from 2011 to 2035, over one million dollars a year." Yeah. They only owed him five million. Instead of paying out the five million, they were they were remember wrapped up in the Bernie Madoff pyramid, yeah. and they were getting 50, 60 percent on their investments. Hello, right. that should have been a red flag, but they felt it would Jesus. they were going to be able to handle this easily because the Madoff money was pouring in. So they offered to pay him one million a year for twenty five years, mm-hmm. beginning in two thousand eleven. He gets that payment every year on July first. And he's going to get that until he's 72 years old, right. one million dollars a year. So instead of paying five million up front, they deferred 25 mil, over 25 million yeah. over 25 years. Yeah. One of the most bizarre contracts yeah. Yeah, yeah. of all time, no doubt. I, well, it's something like the uh, Allen Iverson deal. Allen Iverson got they paid him his upfront money, um, but they negotiated got with Reebok and yeah. they gave him 40 million dollars. So on, I think this one is. It, it went into yeah, but a that, trust. But, but, that, but, that, but that came from Reebok. That didn't come from. Yeah, that was the guys, that was a great yeah. negotiation. That didn't come from the 60s. We yeah. got yeah. a segment coming up that I've been waiting a year for. Wow. A year we have for this. Dead or alive? Yes. Yeah. We got to do a couple things first, real yeah. quick. We got two super chats. Uh, we're gonna keep these both quick though, because we do have to get to something else. Uh, from DB Dog Twenty One says, "Being a Browns fan is like being in love with a girl that you know is gonna break your heart, but you can't help but love her, Fact. hoping that one day she will love you back." And Donnie M says, uh, so just one person, uh, G, you're answering this real quick. Fellas, what are your thoughts on the fact that Ravens aren't offering him more guaranteed money than Kyler Murray? I think that's the problem because Lamar is much better than Murray. I'd be more pissed about that. I think that's the more egregious contract than right. Watson's yeah, uh, totality. Listen, Watson, I mean, know Watson for deserves sure. it that's if he's true. healthy. As a, as, a man, as a man, when you get an MVP, I think sometimes he's feeling like, like, yo, they're trying to marginalize this MVP. 
Like when you say MVP and Tom Brady and Peyton Manning and all these other guys, that's a certain level of cachet. You trying to play me like Deshaun Watson and, and oh boy, no, nah, I'm better than him. Well, there's one other thing that goes into it. It's likelihood of repeating what you've done. And I think with Tom Brady and players like that, the likelihood that a pure pocket passer could do that again was we, higher than a yeah, guy who, we, whose game and platform is built on running well, the ball. He hasn't, I think it's more about he hasn't played as well since. That's it. He hasn't played anywhere there, that's close That's part to of it, too. Yeah, that, I think you're right. That's part of it. Injuries. Go His ahead, recent Mike. sample size isn't great. Yeah. 